ติจบ President please be seated President please be seated องค์จุลประกรรมโตกระจำรายการในเทปที่สำนักการสำนักการในไทยนี้องค์จุลประกรรมเพื่อสำนักการ Today the Chamber will adjourn hears the Remaining testimony of this witness, and at the conclusion of this witness testimony, we will hear another witness testimony that is to TCW909 via a video link. Ms. s e k o b u t i please report the attendant of the parties and other individuals at today's proceedings. g r a f i Mr. President, for today's proceedings, all parties to this case are present. Mr. Nunji is present in the holding cell downstairs. He has waived his right to be present in the courtroom. The waiver has been delivered to the g r a f i e r A uh, witness who is to conclude his testimony, that is Mr. a h o is ready and present in the uh, courtroom. The next witness, that is t r u e TCW909, will testify by a video link. This witness confirms that t r u e the best knowledge, the winner has no relationship by blood or by law to any of the two accused, that is no tear and kills and pawn, or to any of the several parties admitted in this case. The witness took an oath already. Thank you. Merci. President, thank you. The Chamber now decides on the request la by n u n c h i r The Chamber has received a waiver from n u n c h i r Dated 20th May 2015, which states that due to his health, that is headache, back pain, he cannot sit or concentrate for long. And in order to effectively participate in future hearings, he requests to waive his right to be to participate in and be present at the 20th May 2015 hearing. He advises that his counsel advised him about the consequence of this waiver, that in no way it can be construed as a waiver of his rights to be tried fairly or to challenge evidence presented or admitted to this court at any time during this trial. Having seen the medical report of Nun Chi by the duty doctor for the accused at the ECCC dated 20th May 2015, who notes that Nun Chi has a chronic back pain and dizziness when he sits for long and recommends that the chamber s h a l l grant him his request so that he can follow the proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs. Based on the above information and pursuant to Rule 815 of the ECCC internal rules, the chamber grants Nun Chi his request to follow today's proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs right and o d i o v i s u a l means. AV unit personnel are instructed to link the proceedings to the room downstairs so that Nunchia can follow the proceedings. And that applies for the whole day. The chamber now hands the floor to the defense teams first to the Nunchia defense to report questions to witness Aoho. You may proceed, counsel. Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honours. Good morning, Council. Good morning, Mr. Witness. Um, I have some more questions to put to you uh, after yesterday. Um, I would like um, to start asking you some questions about um, the time that you, as Uh, chief of your village uh, received a request to um, bring and select a workforce um, for the building of the 1st of January dam. Um, 
Do you remember who, who it was who made the request to you to select qui? people uh, from your village? Vous avez demandé de choisir et d'amener des gens de votre village à cet effet. Vous en souvenez-vous? Witness. Le témoin. The person who made a, a request La personne qui a formulé cette demande superior, était mon that supérieur, is the, a commune committee, à savoir le comité who de la commune qui avait reçu des instructions de l'échelon supérieur. Vous vous souvenez du mois précis de 1976 that he made that to you in your capacity as village chief? À vous, en tant que chef de village? The request was made in October. Réponse. However, first it was for the mobile en octobre, uh, unit. Mais elle concernait les unités itinérantes. That is the strong force in the, those les mobile units. And about 30 mobiles. workers were selected from each village. Dans village. And the, the first wave of the force was to clear the land and uh, the, the bushes. And then the big force was uh, requested at a later stage. Le reste des forces a été so is it correct to say that um, initially from Question. your village, 30 people belonging to the mobile unit were sent to work for the dam, at the dam, and, and then at a later stage some more people from your village were sent to work. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Um, would you be able to tell us uh, how many people in total uh, have, have worked, how many people in total from your village have worked at uh, the 1st of January dam? Sur le chantier du barrage du 1er janvier, je parle des personnes qui venaient de votre village. For the middle age force, Pour ce qui there were about 100. Moyens, and for those in the mobile units, the number was between 70 to 80 workers. So would it be correct that um, in a period of, let's say, seven to eight months, um, a little less than 200 people from your village have, one way or another, participated in the building of the dam. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Um, do you remember um, which criteria you uh, applied when selecting the other people from your village not belonging to the mobile unit? Lorsque vous avez choisi des villageois parmi ceux qui n'appartenaient pas aux unités itinérantes? Please repeat your uh, question. Réponse. Pourriez-vous répéter cette question, s'il vous plaît? Um, you said that. Uh, people from the mobile unit were selected uh, to work, uh, but you said there are also other people from your village uh, you selected. Do you re recall what criteria you used to um, assemble these other people from your village? Uh, age or um, strength of the people? Can you recall? People who were selected to work at the 1st January dam work site were those who had full strength. Other people were not selected if they were assigned to stay at the village. 
Thank you. Question. Merci. Um, One point of clarification uh, that I would like to uh, address with you. Uh, yesterday, uh, a number of hundred was mentioned. Hier, on a parlé uh, a hundred de people that you might have supervised. However, when I read your statement to the investigators of the co-investigating judges, um, it seemed that you, when you were working at the, at the dam, uh, were supervising Uh, only a group of uh, 20 people. Que vous ne un um, de 20 is that correct? When you were working at the dam, you were supervising a group of 20 Lorsque people? Or were you also responsible for the whole um, selection of the people coming from your village? The number of the people selected uh, was correct, and at the work site, uh, the total number was uh, subdivided Plus into smaller travail, groups, and then for each group there will be a, a chief who will supervise and work together with the team of the group members. And for the 20 people that I supervise, I also work together with them. That's how it was organized. Voilà les And usually we would uh, meet during our général, meal time at noon. Pour la pause à midi. I understand. Um, so would it then be fair to say that um, in addition to you supervising 20 people, um, there would be another nine supervisors working side by side with you supervising the other, let's say, 180 people? Is that uh, a correct calculation? There were 100 workers when we left the village, and at the work site, the 100 workers were divided into five groups, and for each group, one person will be appointed as chief, and we were working nearby each other at the work site. I understand. Do you recall who the other four supervisors were? Des autres uh, working at the dam, who were the other four people supervising um, the people that came from your village? The other four uh, people were the group chiefs uh, from my village. And they were assigned to supervise uh, those uh, four groups. And do you remember Question. any of the names of those other four group supervisors? Des noms de ces quatre personnes qui supervisaient les autres groupes? I recall some of their names, but uh, not all. Can you give it a try? Who were those other four supervisors? Can you give it a try? Who were those other four supervisors? They were Nate, Tim, Tim. And I cannot recall the uh, other three names. But all of the noms. However, they all the pass away because Mais, of the soit, elderly morts. age. Ils déjà assez âgés. And did the Question. five of you um, make decisions? 
in respect of the whole group of 100 vous would that be fair to say decision pour le groupe qui était composé de 100 personnes est -ce exact we are volunteered to undertake the assignment nous nous étions tous portés volontaires pour accepter ces tâches by ankar comme nous l'avait demandé l'ankar I understand that all five Question. of you volunteered to be um, group chiefs, um, but was it also decided that the five of you uh, would work together in leading the total group of 100? We all Réponse. volunteered uh, to undertake the uh, work Nous at the dam construction pour effectuer le travail work site. nécessaire sur le site du chantier. Um, I, un I understand, Question. but um, Je comprends bien. when, for instance, issuing instructions to the 100 people of your Mais village, did de the five of you des aux 100 uh, consult qui de votre with village. each other, <coughs> work together with each other, vous um, tous les cinq, -vous in order to uh, implement the working process? Pour, uh, la met each other in Réponse. the evening and the five of us would et tous les cinq talk nous to each other and also the workers uh, were there nous and tous les sometimes cinq et we exchange conversation but usually the five of us who were the group général, chiefs would meet nous cinq, and chef de groupe, uh, speak to one another about the uh, work progress and about the uh, workers. Um, and uh, did you ever have Question. conflicts with any of the other four uh, group chiefs or when there was a conflict or when there was something you would discuss it uh, together? Can you tell us a little bit about ensemble? how the five of you work together. Pourriez-vous nous dire de quelle façon vous collaboriez tous les cinq? The five of us who were working together, we did not have any conflict with one another, not at all. And nous usually we would share whatever food we had. And the same thing applies to the air workers uh, under our supervision. We never criticize this worker or that per uh, worker was lazy or didn't uh, work uh, fast enough, for instance. And the five of you um, then collectively uh, reported to the person um, de façon that, were, that was on the upper level of you. Is that correct? The five of you reported uh, your experiences to the person uh, who was responsible for you. Would that be fair? Summarizing? That's exact. After uh, we, uh, when we made, we exchanged the uh, statistics, and then I gathered all the information, and it was I, on behalf of the uh, group, made a report to the upper level. And the report would comprise of the strength of the uh, workers as well as the health condition of the workers. And you on behalf of the other Question. four would report 
daily or weekly uh, or two weekly do you remember mais à quelle fréquence toutes les semaines tous les jours toutes les deux semaines tous les mois vous en souvenez-vous the report was made daily il s'agissait d'un rapport quotidien. For example, how many workforce work today and how many workers got ill on, on this chantier, particular day. Combien de personnes étaient tombées malades And the report was made to someone who came to fetch it from the work site. And would you also report um, Question. how many um, Faisiez-vous également état du nombre de mètres for cubes per, de terre on that day, qui avaient été uh, was taken away ce by the, uh, five groups together. par les cinq groupes d'ouvriers yes. We also reported on the number of cubic meters that our whole group dug for that day. And that was based on the individual group report that I received. Then I made the combined report to the upper echelon. The report would include the achievement of the cubic meters as well as the workforce who worked on that particular day. And did the five of you only have to limit yourselves to the total of 100 people working under you, or were you also involved in what other villages or other people from other villages were doing? Other villages had their own respective uh, villagers. And of course, they uh, would organize uh, a similar activity. Les and as for me, I would supervise uh, my part, village workers uh, together with the other four group chiefs. Um, now, I would like you to, to, to give a concrete example of somebody within uh, those five groups who would fall sick. If somebody, if a worker um, in the morning would feel sick, for instance in your own group, uh, what would you do? How would you act? For example, in the morning, if a, a worker was reported si that matin, he or she was unwell, then we would try to bien. see whether any treatment can be given to make him si better. Usually, we would use mieux. hot water to with herbal or tra traditional des, medicine des and they cooked it in a big pot and workers would drink from it. And then we would allow that sick worker to rest on that day. Did you or any of your four um, group leaders ever force somebody who was sick in the morning to work anyway? Travailler malgré tout. Yes, I have just said. Réponse. We Comme loved each dire, other as brothers and sisters. Nous nous aimions les uns les autres comme des frères et des sœurs. If a worker uh, could not work, that worker would be si allowed to rest. Si un ouvrier ne pouvait pas travailler, il avait le droit de se reposer. Until he or she became better, then he or she would request to return to work. And he or she would make that request 
to his own Question. particular group leader and then the group leader will discuss it with you and the other group leaders. Is that a correct summary? Allow me to say we were all kind of living together in a long uh, hut as part of our accommodation, which was about 30 uh, meters long. And of course, we knew immediately if uh, someone uh, was sick, I could see it, other group of chiefs would see it. Je le voyais immédiatement. Les autres groupes, les autres chefs de groupe le voyaient également immédiatement. I do apologize, uh, my, th my thing went... Um, I'm sorry, Mr. Witness, would you be so kind to repeat your answer? I, I had a technical malfunction. Please uh, repeat your last question. Um, that's a good question. Um, <laughs> I, will, I, will, I will move on to the next question. I, I apologize for this uh, interruption. My point is where, I'm, where I would like to get to is um, the person reporting to the group chief that he was sick uh, you would discuss it, I think, with uh, the other group leaders. What happened? What would happen if somebody didn't recover and, and would stay sick two days, three days, even four days? What would you decide to do, the five of you, uh, in respect of this particular person? At this réponse. bigger work site, in fact, there was a Ce kind of mobile hospital attached to the work site, and if the a person did not get better, then he or she would be sent to that mobile, mobile hospital at the work site for further treatment. Um, and do you recall any particular instances Question. where somebody stayed sick uh, and was then subsequently sent to uh, this mobile uh, medical unit? Do you recall any specific people? Yes. As I stated, the work oui, at the uh, construction uh, work site. Sur ce chantier. And allow, allow me uh, to give you an example. There was de vous donner un exemple. an old woman who was about 35 uh, years old. Une femme and uh, there, there was an uh, incident where the soil collapsed uh, upon her. Then uh, I assigned uh, three or four other workers to rush her through that uh, mobile medical unit for treatment. And she later on recovered after four months uh, treatment staying at the mobile medical unit. And in fact, her husband thought that uh, she uh, had died. But uh, she survived uh, until uh, recently. Uh, thank you, Mr. Witness, for that example. But what, for instance, if somebody had woken up one morning with um, diarrhea and fever, and this fever would not go away even after two days or three days, then I presume 
uh, you would decide to send this person to uh, the hospital. Um, if the person wouldn't get better at this mobile hospital, what would happen then? Do you recall any instances of such situations? organized and established a medical unit on the ground and if the condition of the workers uh, did not get better then the workers would be referred to the sector hospital and if the con condition still did not get better, then the patients will be referred to the zone hospital. Now, would you be able to recall in how many instances in those six months um, people of your 100 member unit were ever sent to a sector hospital because he or she didn't get better. Answer, not many people refer to the sector hospital from my knowledge. I uh, was working at Kampawi work site. I sent my sick worker to district hospital. I was asked why uh, the sick people were not put in the mobile medical unit at the work site, and I told medical staff at the district uh, hospital that because uh, the medical units at the work site and the district hospital were close to each other, so I decided to refer the sick people to district hospital instead. Actually, I uh, could not recall uh, all the detail because of my weak memory at the current time. Um, but you and your five, your your four group leaders had around 100 people uh, working for you during a period of six months. Roughly, how many people were not were not cured by the mobile hospital at the dam, but had to be sent uh, to the district hospital? Was it two? Was it five? Was it ten in those six months? Can you give me a number? We sent those who got serious illness to sector hospital for sick people, minor ones, we would refer them to mobile medical unit at the work site and we would give them herbal medicines for the sick worker to drink unless we could not uh, cure them in the mobile hospital and we would send them to district or, or sector hospitals. Thank you. I understand completely what you're saying, but are you able to give me an estimate about of how many people were sent to the district hospital and, and then came back to work again at the dam in those six months? Was it two, was it five, was it ten? Can you, I, I realize it's difficult, but can you give me an estimate number?
answer. As for the groups in my village, I sent only one sick person to the district hospital, and for the rest, we uh, allowed them to be treated in a mobile hospital at the work site, which had uh, abundance of uh, medicines for treatment. I, uh, I understand. And the one person uh, who couldn't be taken care of by the medical unit and was sent to the district hospital did in fact return and was able to continue working. Is that correct? But answer. Four months later, this uh, sick individual returned to work. He or she was hospitalized in the district hospital for four months. This was based on what I was told by this individual. He told me about this. He was he or she was hospitalized in the district hospital for 15 days, and after that, he or she was referred uh, further to the sector hospital. Four months later, he returned back to work. Um, and referring, uh, Mr. Witness, to an answer that you gave yesterday, uh, of those 100 people from your village who worked under your supervision and the other group leader supervision, uh, nobody died of any sickness. Uh, is that correct? Did answer. At the work site, as I stated earlier, uh, it appears that uh, workers were safe and some of them uh, fell sick, but they recovered from illness after uh, they got a coin's massage. Um, would it be fair to say, Mr. Witness, that the well-being, the health of any of those hundred people was, in, was within the realm of your decision, yours and the group leaders, that you five were responsible for the well-being of your hundred people and that nobody interfered. Is that correct? Answer. The handed worker, which under my supervision and other four group chiefs, we actually supervised uh, these hundred workers. Now, what happened if one of those hundred workers um, would say, right now, I'm very tired. And I cannot stand on my feet. Is it all right to have a 15-minute break? Would you, in such a situation, decide that it is okay? Or would you say to this person, work on anyway? We would not allow one worker to take a rest, and if he or she could not really work, we asked him or her to walk slowly or to do the work very slowly. And during the working hours, we allowed uh, three breaks in the morning. We allowed three breaks in the morning. Would that be 
Every hour or so that people had a break, or every one hour and a half that people had a break, do you remember? The answer for the break time, after two hours work, we allow the worker to take 15 minutes break. It was the, the decision for break time for all uh, workers. So, your the group of, of your, your group of 100 people would have a break Donc, at around the same time as all the other groups coming from villages working at the dam is that correct 200 personnes prenaient la pause en même temps que tous les autres groupes des autres villages est-ce exact Answer yes, that is correct. Uh, we had a uh, break at the same time. Nous prenions la pause au même moment. Um, were the five of you, you and the other four group chiefs, also responsible for uh, the housing of those hundred people? Were you responsible for the, the places where they were sleeping at night? Answer, yes, five of us were in charge of uh, the 100 workers, including sleeping at night time and uh, meal for them. And if something happens, we would make a report. Actually, those who were working uh, on the dam were the front line en fait, and those who working who were working front, in other areas were in the rear line and if the front line requested something and then si the rear line la, would support it but it was the responsibility la of you and your four group Et chiefs to make sure that the hundred people from your village um, slept as well as possible under the circumstances at night would that be a fair assumption au mieux des possibilités, étant donné les circonstances. Est-ce est exact de dire cela Answer, as for the accommodation, actually, we did not have a proper place to sleep. En fait, nous nous but there was actually a place for parler. us Mais to sleep. But y avait un there was uh, mats for us to sleep on, and the mat was made from palm leaves. And I could say that the accommodation was not uh, really proper. Que ce pas une des I understand. Um, but were you and your four group chiefs allowed to bring material uh, such as uh, mats or maybe even mosquito nets from your village? Were you allowed to bring anything that you liked uh, from your village to those sleeping quarters? Answer. When we were working at the dam site, we told the workers already that to please get ready and be prepared. And those who had mats or 
mosquito nets. They should uh, bring those materials along to the work site. We informed all about this uh, before we went to work at the dam site. So everyone was on their own. So any of those hundred people uh, could bring whatever he or she felt he or she needed uh, to sleep at night. Would that be a fair assumption? I yes, that is a fair assumption. Would the same apply for um, other material? If, if people would return after um, one free day, would they be allowed to bring stuff like, for instance, food for the next uh, nine days? Would they be allowed to bring anything they liked uh, when they were, were returning uh, to the dam site? And if they had, they could bring their belongings or food supplies with them. They could bring along. Did, did you or any of your other four group chiefs ever tell one of those hundred people, no, you cannot bring this item with you to the dam site? Actually, we mentioned like what you said. Réponse. En fait, nous disions ce que vous venez de dire. They should not bring their private food supplies, but if they happened uh, to bring uh, very little uh, food supplies uh, along, then we would allow them to bring them to the website. Uh, now, I would like to ask some questions about these hundred people. Um, did you know every single individual of this group of hundred? Um, by name, by person, you, you knew everybody uh, in that group, is that correct? I do not recall them all. I understand, uh, of course, but at the time, did you know each and, any, each and every individual from that group of hundred? Did you know this person uh, from your village? Did you know he, who he or she was? Answer. We could, we could know some of them, for example, Uncle A, B, or E, were in a certain comrades group. And I, I knew well to my 20 workers in my group. Would it be fair to say that you and your four group leaders knew every single individual uh, from this group of hundred? That the, the five of you together knew everybody. Answer. Yes, we. 
we knew that uh, oui. there were 100 nous savions qu'il y avait une workers d'ouvriers in the five groups but uh, we did not groups. know them all well Mais nous ne les connaissions pas tous bien i understand um, are you able to tell us if within this group of 100 um, who were original base people and who were new people or was that something that you didn't know Saviez-vous qui était peuple de base et qui était peuple nouveau Yes, I knew that certain people were base people and others were new people and we were also aware that some were charm people or other ethnicity because uh, they were all in our group at the work site. Now did you or any of your four group leaders Est-ce que vous ever ou un quelconque autre responsable de groupe ordered somebody who was a new person to work any harder than somebody who was a base person plus dur qu'une personne du peuple de base I never imposed such a condition. So we had the same work condition. Nous travaillions tous dans les mêmes conditions. It does not. It did not mean that the new people worked harder than base people. We had the same work condition to achieve our plan. Would it then be fair to say that you and your four group leaders treated every single individual within this within this within this group of hundred people? in an equal manner traitiez de la même façon tous les individus de ce groupe de 100 personnes ba tauna tin jang answer yes that is correct oui c'est exact um now within these 6 months that you and your four group leaders supervised um, these hundred people from your village. Did you ever make a decision to send any of these hundred people to the upper echelon for not working hard enough? Did you ever request disciplinary measures to be taken against any of those hundred individuals? Answer. As for the réponse. four group chiefs and I, en ce qui concerne les trois, les we quatre chefs never sent our own workers for disciplinary measure or actions. And uh, we would try to resolve uh, the work uh, issue in our uh, groups so that uh, we could have finished uh, the work. Uh, now, at the work site, um, when the five groups of 20 people were working, were there militia or uh, military people watching and controlling your group of 100 people? At the work size, actually, we Sur had uh, those who provided the security and safety for all workers. De la sécurité, de la sûreté de tous les travailleurs.
but it, is it is my understanding correct that the militia who were walking there were there because of external security problems and not to supervise or instruct the workers. That is correct, isn't it? Militia men did not come to watch the worker. Actually, they came to secure the external security. Um, thank you, Mr. Witness, for that answer. Um, now, I would like to revisit something that you said yesterday. Um, during questions about um, a camera crew coming to the work site and, and shooting uh, film uh, about your activity and your work at the dam site, you said um, that you were quite proud of the work uh, that your unit was doing. Um, that feeling of pride that you had about the work that you did, do you remember whether the other four um, group chiefs had the same pride? Were they also uh, happy and proud to work at the dam site? President, please wait, uh, Mr. Wiener. You may not proceed. International Court Prosecutor. Honor counsel is asking this witness to read the minds of others who unfortunately are not here to testify. Uh, similarly, his previous question, he asked the witness about security and what was the intention of security. Uh, and it would be very interesting to hear if this witness had a role in security, how he would know, have knowledge of the answer he just gave as to the purpose of the militia. Uh, Mr. President, I agree with the prosecution that the witness cannot read minds of anybody. However, he would be able to say whether his four uh, group uh, chiefs, colleagues at the, at the time uh, said things like they were proud um, of their work or that they were happy that they uh, were contributing to building of the dam. So I'm not asking the witness to uh, read their minds, but if he remembers the other four group chiefs saying things to the effect that they were also proud and happy to have worked at the dam. So I think I should be allowed to ask my question. And I would just indicate, if that is the question, he can ask it. Uh, what did these other individuals say that they were happy in front of other Khmer Rouge cadre? Well, I think that's what my question was. Again, uh, Mr. Witness, did you? Hello, uh, Mr. Victor Copé, President. Council Victor Copé, please reformulate the Mr. question Copé, so that uh, the, the, the witness can provide a certain and direct answer to your question. Very, very, well, uh, very well, Mr. President. Mr. Witness, you said yesterday that you yourself were happy and proud um, to show your work uh, to the film crew. Do you recall if your four colleagues, group chiefs, also expressed happiness and pride um, at the time the film crew um, came along? Yes, we were so happy to be oui. actors Nous in the film during the canal digging uh, process. Film qui and we were actually running, carrying the earth. 
and we were working in two lines. One line was going up the, the embankment, and the other line was for people going down with empty earth carrying baskets. And the filming process took about two hours. And of course, I did not run for the two hours. Uh, we took turns. However, the uh, line of people working Mais and running was continuous. If you uh, saw what it was shown si on the film. Um, I understand your answer. Question, but just to be clear, réponse, were you happy and proud to be in the film? You and your colleagues, or were you happy and proud of the work Je parle de vous et vos collègues. which was shown in the film? If the question is directed to this witness's state of mind, that's fine. But he said you and your co-workers. How does he I, know? I, I, will I will reformulate. Were you happy and proud to be in the film? Or, or were you happy and proud of your work? which was then shown si to the film. I know it's a little difficult distinction, but I hope you understand. question Although a uh, part of the film I didn't see myself, Mais je ne me suis pas I saw my other uh, comrades carrying earth vu mes camarades while others were running, carrying uh, the earth too, pour transporter la terre. and all uh, looked good. Ils tous fière allure. Let, let, I apologize question. for the confusion. Let me return to uh, my original confusion. question. Je vais so notwithstanding the film, were you, du do film, you know whether, you, whether your colleagues were happy and proud of the work they had done at si vous uh, the 1st January Dam? Same objection. Même objection. I'm not asking again to, read, to tell them to read their minds. Do you see, did you see, Mr. Witness, any expressions of joy or happiness from your four group chiefs in relation to the work. They were all happy. Réponse. Ils étaient tous très contents. They were all happy and delighted. Ils étaient ravis. And uh, that included uh, the group chiefs. Y compris les chefs de groupe. And usually the process was the group chief would général, lead uh, the workers les chefs de groupe in carrying les the earth. And after they de emptied terre, the baskets, they would return in a separate panier, line. Then they would uh, dig the earth. The earth again into the basket and continued uh, to another line up the embankment, and that's the, uh, the process, and that it continued in that way. Did you see Question. any signs at the time of pride and happiness of the work um, with any of the hundred individuals from your village? Did you see that they were happy and proud of the work they had done building the dam? I could not read uh, the mind of those workers. Je ne pouvais pas lire dans However, leur uh, when we stopped uh, during our Mais rest time, I asked them and they said that uh, they were happy. And you said heureux. they, was it Question. Vous dites a few or 
Étaient-ils nombreux Were you able to tell that the majority of the group of 100 people were, was happy with the work they had done for the first January dam? Pour la construction du barrage du 1er janvier. For 100 workers, including the group chiefs, were happy. Ces 100 ouvriers, y compris les chefs de groupe, étaient heureux. Honor, I'd ask to strike. The answer is not responsive. The witness himself has said he can't read the minds of the workers. Le témoin a dit lui-même qu'il ne pouvait pas lire dans les pensées des ouvriers. And the question was expressed. Did they express, as I understood, counsel trying to? make the question uh, proper, were there expressions of joy that he heard from the workers about, about their work? And if the witness heard expressions of joy, he can tell us. I don't think we are in an American court where you can strike answers of the witness, um, so it's on the record. But I would be happy to uh, ask for clarification. Mr. Witness, did you Mais see nous, any clear signs of happiness uh, from any of the 100 individuals um, about the work they had done um, working at the 1st January time? Did you see people expressing happiness and joy um, about the work when the film crew came? Heureux. They were happy when they were being filmed. Réponse. Ils étaient heureux d'être filmés. I'll move on to um, another topic. And that's the, uh, the accident that unfortunately happened uh, in, the, in those six months that you were talking about yesterday. Um, you said that there was at one point vous avez dit uh, a landslide of, of, uh, of earth. De Could you give us a little more details as to why you think this accident happened? What was the reason? What happened exactly um, preceding this unfortunate accident? Avant que ne se produise ce malheureux événement? Uh, the reason for the uh, soil collapse was that we worked at night and each Nous team was competing nuit. one another and actually they built up the embankment and they actually drilled a hole on the surface of the embankment and then the other uh, workers were not aware Mais of the hold, and while they carried the, the soil out, then the soil collapsed. Un and uh, the total amount of the uh, soil that collapsed was about one or two uh, truck full. Au total, on peut dire que and uh, it's un ou because of the nature of how the embankment was made. Uh, some workers went underneath where the uh, hole or the, the cave underneath was made. And then, the unfortunately, the uh, soil collapsed. However, allow me to stress that the, this uh, soil collapse happened during the first year of the uh, construction. And the soil collapsed again in 1988, says the witness, when the best of the embankment was dug to get rid of some palm tree stumps and uh, the soil collapsed. And some people died uh, from the first uh, soil collapse during the regime. Um, 
It's a difficult question, but I'm, 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 I, I will try to um, put it understandably to you. Are you able to tell us possible? whether um, what happened was a tragic accident or whether it was the result of um, hard working conditions forced upon you, forced upon them by you and the group chief? qui était imposé aux ouvriers. I do not know how to respond to Réponse. your question. Uh, it was part of the working process, but as I said, the people who work at the top of the embankment want to have the work done as soon as possible. And for the people who stayed underneath were unfortunate when the soil collapsed. Mr. President, I'm looking at the clock. Uh, this might Monsieur be an appropriate time to break. Je regarde l'heure. Je pense qu'il est peut-être temps de faire une pause. Bah. Le président. President, uh, thank you. Merci. The time is convenient for us to take a short break. We'll take a break now Il and resume at 10:30. And court officer, please assist uh, the de witness de in the waiting room for the witnesses and uh, experts during the break, and invite him back into the courtroom at 10:30. The court is now in recess.